Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, are you bored of your regular Cody skin? Um, but you don't want to put on a skin that has too much customizations that would probably let your head start to hurt you and you start to go crazy. You want something that is simple, like just like Confluence, but a little bit more friendly to the eye. Well, guess what? In this video, we're going to take a look at the Unity skin for Cody. Okay, so let's take a look at the Unity skin. First things first, you need to install it. So, for those persons who have um, Super Repo, you can simply just search for it. Um, just go to system and this is only if you have super repo installed um, and we have a video on how to get that done and if you don't have super in repo installed and you don't want to install super repo just simply look in the description of this video and there will be a file to the repository that it's in and you can install that repository so you click on add-ons system add-ons and then search and then what you will be looking for is unity so u n i t y and enter and you see unity skin i have mine enabled because i already have it so i downloaded that and what unity really is is um if you're a big fan of android you like the material design that you have on your android phone Basically, Unity is Confluence actually reskinned and you know reworked to look a lot like that with a little tweak here and there. So, all right. So let's let me just enable my Unity, my Unity skin. All right, I have a whole ton of them, but here there is Unity skin. Ah, there we go. So we're back into the good stuff. All right. So. What first thing that really strikes you with the Unity skin is that it is definitely just exactly like Android um, material design on your, your tablet or your Android phone. Basically, it is the same look. So, it's a nice look. So, let's go click on the videos and let's look at um, some add-ons. I had a movie here. So basically, I was using Zen, so let me go back into Zen. And, all right, new movies. So this is Zen, and we did a video some time ago on the Zen add-on for Cody, which it really is a video add-on for Cody. So I'm waiting on mine to come up. Okay, so new movies. So basically, normal layout. This is the same situation as if, as if you were using Confluence. But what you notice is the sidebar has changed. The sidebar looks a lot more like an Android pull-down or an Android um, navigational bar for those persons who are a big fan of Android. And if you are basically thinking about putting on this Unity skin, definitely you should have been or you should be a fan of Android because this is what it really is. It's a skin for Android lovers. And you have the ability to turn it into poster wrap, um, fan art. But when you look at this fan art, you see just the whole skin. The movie in um, info right there, the year, runtime, um, the ratings, all of that, the genre, the director, the writer, the studio, the blah, 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 blah. And um, let's click on Marvel Civil War, for instance. I think I'm on Civil War. No, I don't think I'm on Civil War. Okay. On Civil War. When you when you, you bring up the the options, you get a next drop down bar or a sidebar from the other side where you can play from here. And if you notice, you see the colors. is the same mater uh, material, UI, um, colors, and even the the font the font is exactly to the stuff you'd probably have on your android phone or something like that and we have the trailer and all that good stuff and i guess if we click on trailer we'll get the trailer but that's not what we want here all right so 
why did I come out of new movies? Going right back into new movies. There we go. I'm changing from fan art to what the default was actually thumbnails. All right, bring that up and let's just play information. All right, with this now, basically thumbnails. You will notice you can see the trailer up here. You can see the cast. If I can select the cast there using my okay my cursor so you have the plot the trailer the fan art and what what strikes me really neat up here is that you will have the tr once you go to the trailer you see this big drop down the drop down that comes down it's kind of sensitive that's one of my big pet peeves it's kind of a little too sensitive when you're there and you just click that big play button which looks a lot like android like that android play button that giant triangle upside it down play button um so pretty much that is still there and that's wonderful one of the things that will probably miss you when you're using the unity um skin is when you go to this this sidebar there's a option to choose color yep missed me the first time i use it and then you have red purple indigo light blue deep purple all of that stuff pink blue blue gray brown and all of that so let's just try brown all right should try blue gray no i'm gonna try deep orange whatever deep orange is you notice that instantly your sidebar has changed i know you have deep orange really neat i think that is neat all right so basically that's it for videos most of the other sections look a lot like that and work a lot like that and let's get to what level of customization the beauty of the unity skin is that you you have customization but you are not you are not swamped by customizations that's always been a big pet peeve for me where skins are concerned in fact i don't do a lot of videos on skins because some of them just lead to utter confusions and a lot of them do come with their own personal add-on packs that will probably just bloat your code into so enormous mutant beast <laughs> media center kind of thing and you want it to be nice and simple i always like to keep my code nice and simple just like any novice could come on to, to to my media center and just feel right at home i don't like too much customizations that make a life way more complicated than it should be so skin settings now you see basically the same amount of customization you could really do with um with confluence in fact so in some cases even less but you can customize the main menu you can either auto hide the sub menus or you can add sub menus all right and here you go you have where you can put your add-ons for the home page of the for the home page basically or the video sub menu so that's when you're scrolling on your videos you can see some of let's say one two three four five five add-ons that you normally use right there right out that you don't have to go into the video sub menu to see that and then it's the same thing for music. I don't have a music add-on. I don't even have one single music add-on. So that won't showing you that won't help. And yes, you can enable custom background. As I said, it's a it's based a lot on confluence. So a lot of the stuff that you can do with confluence, you will be able to do with this skin. So it's a it's it's a beautiful skin skin. And if you're really into Android material design and you just want to keep that unified look, you want your code to look like it, you want your phone to look like it, and you want your <clears throat> you want your tablet to have one look then this definitely is the skin you want not too much customization um beautiful and by the way i could i could not go into this without showing you what happens with the 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 videos to show you what the in-play menu system looks like so i'm going to do that now all right hopefully we'll just get a video working right away and it won't fail all right bfg whatever that is 
I have no idea what BFG could be because it's just a big friggin' giant or something. <laughs> so I am waiting on it. And I'm using the add-on I'm using is Zen. And as I said before, we did a video on Zen, how to get it, how to install it, what it does, all of the good stuff. Won't be covering it in this video. We'll just be looking at Unity. So while we wait on our video to pop up or to give us some options. <clears throat> you notice that we still have that deep orange um, color that we chose before so pretty much this is what it's going to look like and you can change this white section into dark it has that option I'm sorry I didn't show you before but it has that option which doesn't look so bad so we're gonna start our BFG okay uh, okay pause right there all right, so what you see right here is at least, uh, you know, pretty much standard options, but how they're dealt with or how they're shown is a little bit different. You have your video options here. If you click on it, yep, you get that sidebar with a bunch of stuff um, to customize how the look of your playback. <clears throat> you have your sound menu. And you have your subtitles and you have the ability to add to favorites. Let's add this to favorites. This favorite thing is definitely something you want to check out. It's really unique with this situation. Alright. So those are the implies. And yes, you can scrub in the middle of play like you would in most other skins. I won't say all other skins because some skins don't even allow you to do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to end this video. Okay. And pretty much, where is my coding? I ended my entire coding. Well, guys, pretty much that's Unity. That's the Unity skin. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. And it's the the download will be in the description, and so you can download it. And if you have Super Repo, you basically have it already. So just search for it and install, and just. Follow the instructions how to install from a repository. Thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for the subscription.